Hi, I wanted to help you get more from your Canon EOS C200 workflow. Many projects require a 422 10-bit delivery, but don't necessarily require the luxury of a post-intensive, high-quality finishing file like a DPX or ProRes 4x4. The next time you transfer the video files from a CFAS card to a hard drive, instead of having to store all the Cinema Raw Lite files, why not just transcode to ProRes 422, 422HQ, or an AVID DNX format directly from the card and perhaps even save yourself some drive space in the process. Now, as you know, the Canon C200 shoots 10 and 12-bit Cinema Raw Lite. And once you've captured this footage using Cinema Raw Lite, you're ready to transfer the video. Remove the CFAS 2.0 card from your C200 camera. Insert the CFAS card into a qualified CFAS card reader that's attached to your computer. It's not a good idea to copy video files directly to your internal drive that holds your software and applications. It could slow you down. Make sure you've connected a fast hard drive to store your video files and choose a high-speed connection option like Thunderbolt, USB-C or USB-3, Using a fast external hard drive and card reader will really speed up this process. Launch your favorite transcoding application. I'm going to use Adobe Media Encoder, which is a cross-platform application, but tools like Compressor from Apple also work really well. Using the Media Browser panel, navigate to your CFAST memory card. Make sure to click the Filter button to only view Canon Cinema Raw Lite files. Select a file you want to copy to your drive. Right-click and choose Import to Queue. Choose the format you'd like to create. You'll find codec options available for 8, 10, and 12-bit video. If you need a 10-bit video file, consider these options. An MXF OP1A file using the Avid DNX HD or HR with the HQX 10-bit resolution. A QuickTime file using the GoPro Cineform YUV 10-bit preset. Now, both of these options can be made on a Mac or a PC. If you need Apple ProRes, this can only be made using a Mac. Just choose the ProRes 422 HQ or ProRes 422. Adobe Media Encoder doesn't have presets included for ProRes, but you can access them from the video codec controls. Feel free to save a custom preset to save time in the future by clicking the Save Preset button. Select any other options you may require. Be sure to click the output name and choose a destination drive and folder to hold the new media. Now, add the rest of your shots you want to transfer to the queue. The new clips will take on the properties of the first. Be sure to check the renderer you're using at the bottom of the queue. Choosing one of the Mercury Engine options that supports GPU acceleration should significantly speed up the process. You may even be able to use an external GPU accelerator with your laptop for better performance. When you're ready to start, click the Start Queue button. The files are now copied and stored in the 422 10-bit video format you chose. If you don't want to use Adobe or Apple software, be sure to check out Canon's free Cinema Raw development application for Mac or Windows. You can download it from any support page for your Canon Cinema EOS camera or simply search the Canon website. The application offers several useful features including creating proxy and high quality clips simultaneously. After launching the application, simply choose File, Export Configuration to customize the transcoded files. You'll find options for file naming, creating proxies, and output type, full quality, or proxy clips. The pull-downs provide easy access to transcoding options in 4K and HD workflows. The transcoded files can use any combination of color space and gamma, so you can select exactly how you want to start with this footage in post-production. If you do need that super high quality or uncompressed file for finishing, you can always work from the original CRM file or transfer to ProRes 4x4 or DPX using Cinema Raw development. That's it. I just wanted to show you some additional 422 10-bit options, and it could be a whole new way to work with video from your Canon EOS C200 camera. 
We hope this helps you out. So please get out there and shoot some amazing footage. And thanks for watching.